Hi, for this video, what I want to do is show you how to use the TI Inspire graphing calculator to convert from degrees to degrees, minutes, seconds, and then also go from degrees, minutes, seconds back to degrees. Okay, so to get started, we want to open a calculator screen. So you can either hit new document or just add a calculator screen. Okay, and then we want to make sure that our calculator screen is set up with the correct format. The default for the TI Inspire is radians. So if you are not in degrees, you do need to get it in degrees. So to do that, you're going to hit the dock button. And then you're going to go down into option seven, the settings and status. And you're going to go to option two, the document settings. So that was dock, option seven, and then option two. The float six, what this means is that it's going to give you six significant figures. So if you want to maximize this, you are going to hit float. Okay, um, so basically this is telling you how many significant figures. Usually a calculator's default or the um, largest is 13. So if you need more decimal places, you're just going to put it at float. If you do float six, it gives you six significant figures. If you do float three, it gives you three significant figures. Okay, so I'm just going to float it just in case I need extra decimal places. The angle measurement right now is in radians, so we want to change that to degrees because otherwise it won't work. It'll give you the wrong answer. Okay, um, we don't need to worry about the other ones. The other one that I'm going to change is the calculation mode. And I want to put this as approximate because when I'm going from degrees, minutes, seconds to degrees, I want an approximate degree, which is a decimal approximation rather than an exact fraction. Okay, so once you have selected display digits to float, angle to degree, and calculation mode to approximate, we're going to click OK. And so I'm going to start with a degree example. So I'm going to start with 50.128 degrees. And I want to convert this to degrees, minutes, seconds. So to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cl click on the book icon. Um, yours may look slightly different when you open to this. It depends on what you last started with. Okay, so if you started from scratch where you would never touch this before, it would start you on option one. So this is going to be found under option two. And you're going to hit this little plus icon next to the angle, and that's going to pull down all of the things that the calculator will do with angles. So because I already put it in in degrees, what I want to do is I want to go down here and convert to DMS. If I just selected the degrees, minutes, seconds, this is how I plug it into my calculator using that notation. So I want to go down here and I want to convert to DMS. Once I select that, I'm just going to hit enter and it's going to automatically convert it from degrees to degrees, minutes, seconds. So we can see that 50.128 degrees is equal to 50 degrees, seven minutes, 40.8 seconds. So let's say that we were given an example where it's in this format. It's already in degrees, minutes, seconds, and we want to go back to this one. So the first thing that you want to do is when you're given this format, you're going to hit the book icon. And you're going to scroll up to where it says degrees, minutes, seconds. And it will open up little boxes so that you can plug it in. So let's say that we were given 25 degrees, 10 minutes, 15 seconds. And we want to convert this to decimal degrees or just degrees. So what we're going to do is go back to the same place we just were, hit the book icon, make sure that we're still in two. And then we're going to come down here, convert to decimal degrees. And then when you do this, it plugs in decimal degrees and hit enter. And notice it gives us 25.170833. Typically, they will have you round this to three decimal places. So most likely, they would have you write it as 25.171 degrees. Um, but if it asks for more than that, you do have them. So again, make sure that whenever you're working with this that you are in degrees and not radians because it will throw off your entire answer if you don't first start in degrees. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. If there are additional topics you need me to cover, please let me know that as well.